they have a back lot that looks um, like New York, and they were telling us of some scenes that were filmed there. I was like, whoa, I thought they were really New York. Surprising with a little uh, lighting and uh, little lighting and angles. <laughs> So we're gonna do an ombre, and right now I am sprinkling acrylic into the wet pink press on, not pink press on, a pink gel number one, which is a semi-sheer nude pink. It's a beautiful color. And when you sprinkle the acrylic on it, actually what it does is it creates kind of like a texture on the nail, and it makes doing the ombre so much easier. And you guys will see that right now. And you only sprinkle the acrylic about halfway on the nail bed because this is going to be a half ombre. You never, ever, ever sprinkle the acrylic into the cuticle area. You avoid that like the plague. Because if you do, then you're gonna have a grainy look to the cuticle and we don't want that. We want it smooth. That's why we blend it so much. So go ahead and bake that for a minute. Yes. Um, I did eternal beige because the base of the nail is the A-Pink number one. It was a good song. But if you were doing any other color, I would use probably just clear acrylic. So hard, let you say, oh my lord. So if you want to do like for example the whole nail in neon, I would do like A Pink 12, which is the milky white face gel. And then I would sprinkle like maybe clear or white acrylic on top of it, but I would not sprinkle white acrylic on top of like a uh, pink face or anything like that. Hmm. And we're going to use Vivid Girl. 175. Did anybody guess where the name David came from? No? Oh, it smells so good too. It smells like bubble gum. Mm -hmm. Can touch this. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lena put in her two weeks to start looking for somebody new, but nobody applied. Well, people applied, but they never showed up. I just can't believe it, and people are complaining. I can't find a job, I can't find a job. Well, no, you're not going to get hired to be president of the company. <laughs> let's, let's get real, right? That's funny, but it's true. I know. And it's a it's, uh, uh, countrywide crisis. Hi, Joel. Hi, Joel. Hi. And you know, it's what's really frustrating for me is that I schedule these people for interviews. Mm-hmm. No call, no show. What is wrong with that? Oh, it's the worst when they ask for the addresses too. It's like, why are you gonna ask me what my address is if you're not gonna show up? <laughs> well, they do need the address to come, but you would expect for them to show up. Right? Exactly. Today I had three, and nobody, nobody showed up. Show up. Only in America. If anybody wants to relocate to Arizona, let me know. Are you ready for a 100 degree winter? Not summer, summer 100 degrees. Oh, that's a nice day outside. This summer is It is. I think in like 20 years it's been. This is our pistachio brush, and we're going to blend it towards the back now, ever so gently. It is the most ring we've had in decades. So hot and humid, you guys. Now, yesterday was the first time I saw something about a car. Really? You know, growing up here, it would rain and it'd be frost all over the place. Mm hmm. I haven't seen frost. I haven't seen frost since I moved back home. Really? Mm -hmm. Have you seen any out here neither? No. Did you hear them? No. But sometimes I have seen toads. Yeah. Like big old big toads that look like rocks. Yeah. yeah. Big, 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 big. <laughs> Ugly too. Yeah. Some of them are poisonous too. Yeah, you gotta be careful. You gotta know what you Because they have had dogs bite them and, and they pass. Just traveling out the end, making sure it's nice and clean. What do you think Somebody clocking out. Beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and bake that. Now 
Oh, Who's that? Um, Joel. Joel. Where do you live, Joel? I think she's from California. Uh-huh. But I, I don't know. I think she's like, they know. So, uh, and that 300. Don't say it. Unemployment runs out. Yeah, he's out in. She's like, so true, I know people who quit because of, of that money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm talking. So we're going to do our second coat. Whenever you do an ombre, no matter if the color is a one coat color, you always have to do two to get the best effect possible. Mr. Rosen says, Rosen, I know. Okay, you're in New York and I work with you. Boy, I'm talking about an expensive place to be. Yeah, that's really expensive. I'm talking about an employee just quitting every week. So sad. That, that's true, Joel. Wow. You know. Everybody wants to work at Amazon. No, everybody doesn't want to work. They want that free money. <laughs> Where can I sign up? No, but Amazon has really monopolized the the, um, the uh, hiring industry in uh, smaller cities because they just come in and really take over, which is really sad because it it's hard for mom and pop shops. The Fed So we're going to go back in with that pistachio brush and feather it towards the back. No coming on the peanut gallery on that one. But the, I think the real estate is really expensive. Uh, yeah, it would probably be more than likely in um, Jersey, New Jersey. New Jack City. And New Jack yeah, City. Well, you know, just across the way. Yeah, across literally. To the city. Mm -hmm. And uh, Newark has a has a really good cargo airport. They and it's also the port. Mm -hmm. So United Hub. And as bad as I feel, I feel like I'm married to United, but it really took me a long time to build up my status with the airline. Really? Yeah. At least a good seven to ten years. No. Yeah. Really? To oh, really? I didn't, I didn't have any problems with it. But you know, when, when I was an uh, analyst and I traveled all over the world, I just raked up just I mean, the miles of all the air Good and big You know. But I think it, it, wasn't, it wasn't hard back then. I guess it's a little harder now. Well, I have Premier Platinum. Okay. So there's Platinum and there's Premier Platinum. But well, they didn't have such a thing. There's Platinum, nothing. Which airline? I love it. Because they all have different colors. So it depends which one has different ones. They say the best one, though, is Delta. Let me tell you. My daughter has rides exclusively. Mm -hmm. And she's always going to And she has so much uh, uh, miles and all that, whatever they do, mm -hmm. that she's going back to New Orleans for her birthday. Mm -hmm. And she decided she doesn't want to be there She wants to stay with her mm -hmm. She's staying with the rest. With her points? Well, she paid for it with her points. Yeah. So but technically, it's, it's it's a really good incentive. Yeah. She's, I mean, she's got so many, you know, points that it's just insane. So. The Ritz Carlton in New Orleans, Louisiana. Are you going to Barbara? No. What about her mama?
And that's it. That's my take on it. I would never want to. I was telling my mom. I I've always wanted to go to um, Czechoslovakia. Well, yeah. Czech Republic, yeah. Because I've always had memories of it. When I was a little kid, I remember um, being at my godmother's house, which is my mom's older sister, and we used to watch old Czech from like the Soviet area time fairy tale movies with like live live actors. And I've always just wanted to see what it looks like in real life. I've always been. I always have those memories, you know, stuff that happens when you're a kid and just always sticks with you. Uh -huh. That always stuck with me. No, not yet. That's the last one. So I really want to go to the Czech Republic and look at their fairy tale castles and forests and things like that. If you guys like like live action fairy tales, um, the old Soviet era USSR when Czechoslovakia still existed, movies are really good actually. You're welcome. Doesn't it honor it beautifully though? It looks like airbrush. It looks like a sunset. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That skills. All the tricks from the Soviet times. And I mean, they're really ingenious people. I mean, they figure things out. God bless the Soviet Union. Everybody had a job. Nope, now it's uh, Slovakia and Czech Republic. So, uh, Rosemary, she says, so this collection just came out? Yes, it did today, actually. Yeah, today. Hot off the press. Oh, there's Lolita. Lolita Hallway. Oh, yeah. From Chicago. One of your homegirls, huh, Barbara? Ah, gracias, que re amable. Because remember, you guys, if the sticker is too close to the edge, it can lift, and we don't want any lifting in our lives. And then when you press down the sticker, I know I like to press it fast, but you gotta have a slow. We gotta have an easy touch. Do you like old movies, Barbara? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen Hush Hush with Sweet Charlie? One of my. That's so wild that you said that. That's one of my most favorite movies. Really? More scary than what happened to Baby Jane? Uh, no. I've been very yeah, curious to watch it. You should watch it. Is it, it good? Is so good? So good. First, first sweet shark. Because I do like whatever happened to Baby Jane. That's a yeah, really good I movie. I love that one too. Some good old fashioned Joan Crawford. Mm -hmm. I wonder if she really was that crazy. <laughs> Her well, I think her daughter was also maybe a little bit jealous of her though too. Um, maybe rivalry, mother-daughter rivalry. Maybe. Because it does exist. It does, obviously. And I think maybe she. What number is the sticker? I can't remember, but it's one of the original ones, so it's in the earlier ones. The Book of the Dark Art Philanthropy Fantasy. Yeah, but these, um, what do I call, what did I name these? Barbara calls them uh, Constellation. But I can't remember what their number is, but they're on the website. They're like the um, Heart and Star Silver Hollow Outline. Something like that is their name. I do. So that way I remember what they are, because we have so many. We have over 220 stickers, guys. That is a lot. And more and more coming. I was actually showing Barbara some of the ones that are coming out later this year because we have an African one too. African one. Mm -hmm. They're very cool, the African ones, aren't they? They are. And then the Halloween season two. Yeah.
Oh my gosh, it's the worst. And mosquitoes. Isn't it the worst? Ugh. Surprise, it's the worst I've ever seen. Any kind and of vermin. We've had so much rain. That's why I got those the anti humidity stuff. So living here, you guys, where we live in Arizona, we've never had an issue with humidity. And this year, in my recollection, recollection of being a hundred years old, the humidity is just unbearable. It is disgusting. So I had to buy like these like um, pallets. Pallets. Yeah, they look like pallets to kill mice, don't they? To absorb the humidity. Baking soda. Just put baking soda all over the house. Like potpourri. You have a question, you're right, Rosie. But this year, because of the monsoon, all the rain that we've had, it's really made it super humid. This is the first year since I've been back. It's been a real monsoon. So much rain. It, I mean, it's pretty because it looks green, but ugh, I hate it. I hate the rain, though. I don't like the rain. My mom likes it. Really? I don't. I like the cold and I like the dark. So, to Alaska. And it's tax-free. Well, not tax-free, but there's no uh, state income tax. And you get paid to live there. You get a nice little check. You get you a little check. And there's a lot of jobs out there too, isn't there? They're just hiring every day. Are people friendly out there? Very. Very. And the food, I just imagine the, uh, the salmon and things like that oh, during the season. That must be the only thing that's inexpensive though, because I heard everything else is really expensive in Alaska. Alana says move to Canada if you like the cold. Canada's too cold. Oh my gosh, your bones hurt out there. She says, just watch out for the vampires during the 30 days of night. That's what I need. I think that's where I belong. I, I was there one time and oh jeez. Um, did the sun come up? I don't know. It's got a little light. A little light. Yeah, but for a while it's usually just twilight, right? Yeah. And, and then in the in the summer you have like it's normal yeah. like a normal early day yeah so we're gonna use some prisma and our silicone tool we're gonna pick up some prisma and just add it here there and everywhere also living here so have everything shifting that's true in Alaska yeah but these aren't sexy vampires they are nasty ugly ones <laughs> like Nosferatu looking vampires? Mm, yeah. But it's still cold though. Cardiovascular, weren't they? Yeah, we got some seeds 
You can beat Thelma. So Alaska is on my bucket list. The last Please frontier. Go. Make sure you go see the glaciers. And the Aurora Borealis. Oh yeah, oh the sky, the sky is otherworldly. Mm-hmm. You can nothing Have you seen it, Barbara? Oh, yeah. Really? Is it like like a laser light show in the sky? force of God and what he does. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, there's nothing like it. And summertime bugs are horribly huge mosquitoes. I hate bugs. Oh, we got some pretty <laughs> big ones here too. Oh, they're not as big as in Okay, it's one of okay, the body. Okay, is as as big as this Oh my gosh, it looks like uh, something on a Jurassic Park. And, and they, they, they do, they you can like go to a souvenir shop, mm -hmm. and they have a, a, you know that are like a taxidermy stick, and they have these big wings. Oh, they're huge. Yeah. They're just huge. They're just yeah. They're huge. You know how things will grow because they have so much sunlight. Mm -hmm. The mosquitoes are not an so, exception. No, they're not an exception. And you know you can get like huge, but Watermelons and pumpkins and everything is like super huge. Everything is bigger in Alaska. Yeah. It's not in Texas. Everything's bigger in Alaska. Right. But there's only one city though. What do you mean? Nashville? Yeah, that's pretty much the only big city that they have. Which I heard is really not that big. I heard all the roads in Anchorage lead to the military base. <laughs> really? Everything takes you to the military base? Like in Orlando, all the roads in Orlando take you to Disney World. Oh, it's so pretty! Some boys kiss me, some boys hug me, I think they're okay. Bake it, my dear. Pop a credit, I just walk away. They can see me, they can see me, they can see the light. Headlight. The cold hard cash is always Mr. Right. Cause we are living. This song really sums up the 80s, doesn't it? <laughs> What a great time to be alive. Where's the beef? Huh? Yes, we're gonna do the last layer. So this is the one we're gonna double cure. So this layer of Wonder Gel, I'm going to float it on like I was frosting a cake. Nice and rich. To seal everything in. Is the angle okay to you guys? Because my old, my other tripod, if you saw the video I posted yesterday, it broke. Really? As soon as I was opening up the mouth of it, it broke. So I, luckily I had this one as a backup. Mm. And you can see there is no residue of the texture from the acrylic powder for the ombre. Um, what a name though. Can you imagine like being in school? What's your name? Madonna. What does that mean? The mother of God. It is. I don't know if she's first generation or not though. Like first generation Italian? Living here? Like if her parents are from Italy? She's from Michigan of all places too. Who would have thought Michigan has a lot of talent, huh? <laughs> Diana Ross and Madonna, both from Michigan. 
Wasn't the governor of Michigan too like crazy? Like she was like telling everybody to stay home when she was at Disney World? Who oh, was she? I think so. I think her name is Gretchen. Chacone. Make sure all those edges are nice and sealed for the fan to see. Beautiful. So turn the hand upside down, my dear, for about 30 seconds and let it self level out. You guys love it? So it's really important when we let it self-level out that we wait 30 seconds because that's how long it takes for the gel to self-level out. Because remember, it's made out of rubber. Okay, we can put it in now, Barbara. It's beautiful. One minute. Ooh, this is a good song. So, this song makes me feel like I'm at a basketball game in 1994. Mm. It's so pretty, isn't it? Oh, thank you. Where is my cotton candy cake oil? Come on, ride that train. And ride it. Choo choo. This song reminds me of Space Jam. Speaking of which, everyone says that the new one is terrible. Really? Mm -hmm. What's his name? LeBron James. Oh, look at the Vivid Girl collection, you guys. All these colors you get in the collection. Beautiful. I'm gonna do an additional 30 seconds, yes. Just to be sure. This one I'm gonna put oil on it though. Some shortening is really good too. What's so funny? Shortening is really good because it's just pure um fat. With some gloves, some Borghese gloves. You remember the white Borghese gloves? Mm -hmm. And sleep with that, and then you wake up in the morning, your hands look like mine. Choo choo! I wish we had more time so that way we could just show the glow in the dark effect, but we'll do that later. So remember, you guys, after the hand comes out of the lamp, wait 10 seconds to make sure the nail finishes the polymerization process. A little bit of acrylic right there, but we got it. Make sure everything's nice and smooth. Beautiful. And a little bit of cotton candy cuticle oil. And there we have it, you guys. What do you think? We developed a cream coming out for cuticles just for Barbara. That's how dry they were. <laughs> but see what the Russian manicure drove it to? It really cleans it out and it creates a beautiful canvas. And it lets us put the nail all the way to the back too. Look at that ombre too though. Isn't that beautiful? Do you guys like that little hack? I hope you do. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's live demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I want to thank Barbara for coming out today and sticking around for a few hours so we can snatch up her nails. And we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next live video. Bye, everybody.